Welcome to Chapter 7 of the Quick Train Modeler Getting Started series. In this module, you'll learn the basics of editing both point clouds and dems. We'll learn how to use the selection areas and the point interrogation tool to cut, crop, smooth, flatten, and even reclassify our LiDAR data. We will also learn some editing tools that apply only to point clouds and some that apply only to surface models or dems. We will be using the Iowa Des Moines LiDAR data in this video, so feel free to visit our website and download the zip file containing the LiDAR data and the imagery. Let's start by loading an LAS file, specifically tile B3 in the Des Moines LiDAR data folder. Since many editing functions require a selection area, let's look at the three selection areas that are available. The first is a rectangle. Click the Select Box button and a crosshair will appear. Left click to establish the first corner and drag to establish the other corner of the box. Either right click to finalize the box as is or right click and drag to rotate the box pivoting around the first corner. Note how the selection rectangle is stuck to the model as the model is rotated. The second is a polygon. Click the Select Polygon Z button and a crosshair will appear. Left click to add vertices. Right click to complete the polygon. Like the selection box, the Z polygon is stuck to the surface of the model straight down the Z axis, thus the name Z polygon. The third is the Screen Selection Polygon. Click the Polygon Screen button and it can be placed just like the Z polygon left-clicking to establish vertices, right-clicking to end the polygon. But this polygon is stuck to the screen. As you move the model, the polygon remains stationary. This is a specialized selection polygon to assist in cleaning up point clouds, where we may just want to cut points or point cloud noise off the top of the point cloud without impacting the good points underneath. So just remember about three selection areas, select box rectangle, select polygon Z, and select polygon screen. To act upon any of these selection areas, either right-click on the Selection Area button or Control right-click. You will see a list of possibilities to choose from. Please note that these actions will only apply to the visible points, so it may be useful to hide models that you do not want to be edited. Cutting and cropping are two basic functions that apply to both point clouds and surface models. Simply establish a selection area and click the Cut or Crop buttons as needed. Note that there is an undo function in the edit menu, but it only applies to the last cut or crop operation. Also, right-clicking either of these buttons applies a temporary cut or crop filter that can be seen in the layer tree. Here are a few point cloud specific editing tools. Screen select cutting uses a selection area to cut unwanted points off the top of a point cloud. It will help to tilt the point cloud on its side then use the screen selection tool to just cut the points off the top. The points here are not noise as this data has been edited already. It's just an illustration. Point interrogation, reclassification, and cleanup are tasks that might be performed on a single point. To select individual points, hold down shift and a red star will appear. Use your mouse to place the star on the desired point and left click. You will see all the information associated with that point as well as useful actions such as deletion and reclassification. Editing in the Profile Analysis tool provides an excellent way to view point clouds in profile, select points in the profile, and edit them. Simply place a measurement line and choose the Profile Analysis tool. Now click the Edit Mode button and all the points turn gray inside the Profile window. Use the Selection tool to select the points you want to edit. Click the green plus sign button to add them to the selected points and now use the edit buttons to perform cutting or reclassification. Here are two editing tools that apply primarily to DEMS. Smoothing is a good tool to remove spikes and other objects from a surface model. Just place a selection area around the area you want to smooth, right click on the selection area button and choose smooth area. QT Modeler will interpolate a new surface based on the elevation values around the perimeter of the polygon, so be careful about selection placement. Area flattening is useful to create a new object in a terrain or to ensure that an area is completely flat, such as a body of water. Use a selection area, but this time, when you right-click on the Selection Area button, choose Flatten Area. You will need to enter an elevation value that will be applied to the entire selection area, creating a flat surface. 
You may want to perform some measurements prior to this operation to make sure you choose the correct elevation. So that's a brief overview of Quick Terrain Modeler's editing functions. There are many more ways to analyze and edit your data, so look for other tutorials on more advanced topics. The next chapter will cover Google Earth integration, making movies, and hotkeys and shortcuts. Thank you for using Quick Terrain Modeler, and please contact us if you have any questions or suggestions. We'd love to hear from you.